But as soon as we walked on the set, the dynamic between the three of us was exactly the same as it was 30 years ago. It's as if these characters lived with us for the last 30 years. It was not a difficult transition to step back into those boots. It's very special to be part of something that has become so meaningful in people's lives. And action! Yes, Salem, we're back! I banish thee from Salem! <gasps> Forever. They were right to fear thee. Magic has a way of uniting. Happy 16th birthday, child. Hey, Sexy Monkeys, I just watched Hocus Pocus 2, and wow. It was actually better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to, like, blow my mind. Even the first movie, you know, as much as I love it and nostalgia feeling, it still wasn't, like, a, a really good movie. Um, like, you know, like, Oscar award. But it was still, like, well made where not problem at all. It wasn't cheesy. Hocus Pocus 2, I thought, might have been made more cheesy. No, it wasn't as cheesy at all. I really... Th it was actually a good movie from start to finish. I've only watched it one time so far, but I could totally watch it again. It definitely brings back a lot of nostalgia feeling from the first movie into this. Um, I really won't say what it is because I want you to enjoy it. I want you to discover it yourself. I don't want to spoil that part. But it's really like there's a lot. I mean, even just bringing back the characters, the songs, the music, the location, you know, still in Salem. Um the sister's house, a lot of that stuff. So the vibe, the tone, the setting, the actors, they're still back. And I really enjoy that part. You do have like, of course, new set of people coming in. Cause you got bring back the sisters somehow. So you have a new set of characters that light the candle that bring back the sisters. And really it's a, after that, it's a blend of mostly the old characters, but then you have some of the new characters, but a lot of the old characters end up taking most of the screen time, at least in my opinion, and I'm cool with that. Because the new young blood you have, like, they're good, but it's like, I'm here for the nostalgia. I'm here for the older characters from the 1993, and I'm glad they really delivered on that. Some of the new people, like Gilbert the Great, he was a young kid from the 1993 that witnessed all the events, so that's what led him to want to, like, know how they you know were alive and how to bring them back so he grows up and he takes charge of the sisters you know sanders sisters house and he understands okay this is how i bring them back so he's the one that kind of initiates getting the sisters back he knows all about the stuff so he's kind of a new character and he kind of teams up with billy you know the guy at the graveyard with the head cut off they end up being like a team and you get some good comedy just from their duo so that was worth just the comedy itself. Super funny, really. This movie was more... It was more funnier than the first movie. I really... Like, one more part was Alexa. When the witch is walking... The, so, really, the humor is... The witch is not understanding modern technology. So, Alexa. They wouldn't have a clue what it is. And they're walking in. They're having an argument with Alexa. That cracked me up. Another part was automatic doors. I thought... <laughs> uh, if you know what I'm talking about... Yeah, that shit, lo I lost it. It was cool that they added the young sisters in the beginning. To, like, shows, like, how they became how they were. But I swear, there's a, there's a book out there, the sequel. And it talks about another sister. So I thought they might have gone that route. But at least the door open, we can still do that. So that's cool. Because I really think Hocus Pocus would do really good as a TV series for Disney+. Plus. I really think they would. The vibe that this really got me was the craft, you know, with the young women, you know, teenagers discovering witchcraft and, you know, they're kind of an outcast. So that was really what the vibe I got. And then the covenant and really supernatural the TV series. You can't get those three mixed in together. And that's really the vibe I got for this. And I was really cool with that vibe. I love that vibe. But really, there was a surprise emotional ending. The ending was very emotional, like where I was even crying. I was not expecting that at all. Not at all. And in a good way, I was like, okay, that it was well worth it. Um, kind of like the end of the first movie, because the very first movie did have a good, you know, emotional ending with Banks 
going to see his sister and it was it ended on them crying and all that stuff and you know it would have been really cool to see what that would have turned out with that cast of the 93 you know um allison max and danny see what happened with them they've been cool to see but yeah this had a ending where it was like okay who the fuck is cutting onions right now right out <laughs> And of course, it'll have a post credit so to speak, of another candle. So, it shows it's not over. I don't see it being over because it was, like, one of the most, like, premier Disney Plus-like shows. <laughs> it shows that a lot of people are love the first movie, enjoy this enough where they probably be watched it again. Um, so, I think they would be off. I think they'd be doing great with the TV series. I really do. I really do. Um, but who am I? You know, I'm just some dude in Iowa. Um, until then, Sexy Monkeys, write down in the comments below. Did you guys actually enjoy this movie? Does this satisfy your expectation for the nostalgia that you want? At least that's what I was going for. And I definitely got what I wanted. So I was very happy for this movie. I could watch it again. No problem at all. Um, but yeah, we talked about in the comments below if you want. If not, subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get more content like this. Um, until then, Sexy Monkeys. I hope you have a good day, and please remember to rewind those VHS tape. Nope, that's not how it works. Please be kind and rewind those VHS tape when you return it. My favorite character that I ever played. She's so out there. She's so I love playing Sarah. I get to be with two extraordinarily gifted comedic actors and get to sing and be absurd and silly. My favorite part of the first one was the flying. Move on! We didn't expect much of it, even though we had a blast making it. It wasn't long before it was a, this phenomenon. It's, you know, very special to be part of something that has become so meaningful to people. It's a wonderful surprise to everybody. I wish I had a nickel for every time I see a Winnie costume online. Ooh.